Let's face it, you've probably already had dreams of the grand YouTube lifestyle. But for those of us that are a bit more practical, we realise you have to work your ass off to get there. And to help you do that, today we're going to cover seven proven tips for getting found on YouTube. Hello fellow creatives, I am Jade and this is my channel Miss Coco the Librarian where I help job hunters and small businesses create a rockin' online presence so that you can reach your ultimate goals sooner. Alright, there's YouTube tips. Well tip number one is to have an identifiable brand. You want people to see your thumbnails in YouTube search and know it's you. Actually the same goes for your website, your YouTube channel, your social media, actually your entire online presence. But for YouTube, your thumbnails is really your brand selling point. I want you to have consistent fonts, colors, and the layout for your thumbnails so that people can easily identify your videos with a, with a simple look. Tip number two is to have some direction. This feeds off your brand identity a little bit because once you've developed your brand you will have an understanding of who you're talking to and what they need. So those two things together will give you some direction. Add that into YouTube and people should be able to clearly see your goal and the value that you bring them. See my goal for being on YouTube is simple. I'm here to grow my business. But the way I do that is important because I want to help you reach your goals quicker. And I do that by sharing my expertise on crafting an online presence. In having this direction, it brings me clarity for the type of content I produce. And it also allows me to draw to me a very specific audience which is great because generally YouTube channels with a clear focus tend to do better than those who try and cater for everyone. Think about it. Uh, you may be a fantasy and sci-fi nerd and that's like the only type of book you read, but you're okay with that. Or you may be a, um, a Marvel fan and that's like 80% of the movies you go and see at the cinema. So why would it be any different with the YouTube videos we watch? We like our categories. We like our niches. So have a direction for your channel and the content you create and you'll draw the right people to you. Tip number three is to make use of all the SEO on YouTube. For those who aren't familiar, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And by using all the SEO features on YouTube, you can bring greater visibility to your videos and as a result to your channel. And when you use every single one of those features, it will enable your videos to be found very, very quickly. Tip number four is to say your keywords in your video. YouTube and Google can already read your videos pretty well. If you go and look at the auto-generated closed captions on any video you upload, they're actually pretty good with only a few words wrong here and there. So YouTube has the ability to find out what your video is about from the SEO that you add as well as the actual content of your video. So make sure everything matches. <laughs> and part of that is saying your keywords in your video as well. Tip number five is to create longer videos. Some of the key metrics that YouTube focuses on our audience retention and watch time. Watch time is how long people watch your videos for and audience retention is the percentage of your video that they watch. Put these two metrics together and it's basically telling you that YouTube wants people to stay on their platform watching videos longer. For example, you have, uh, let's say we have two different videos here. Looking at your analytics, you can see generally people watch your videos till about halfway, so 50%. Video one is five minutes long. Video two is 12 minutes long. So if you know you have an audience retention of about 50%, it's only gonna keep people on YouTube for two and a half minutes. 
this video over here. It's going to keep people on YouTube for six minutes. So which one do you think YouTube is going to bump up in the rankings? That's right people, video number two. <laughs> Tip number six is to optimize for a higher click-through rate. And the two main elements on YouTube that affect your click-through rate are your thumbnails and your titles. If click-through rate is a new term for you, I suggest you go do a bit of research to really understand what it's all about. But I will summarize here. Very, very basic summary. Click-through rate is a new metric that analyzes how well your SEO, so your thumbnails and title, uh, converts into actual watch time and views. So to optimize your videos for a higher click-through rate, you really need to nail those thumbnails and titles so that more people will click on your video. A couple of tips to help with that. Use your brand colors in your thumbnail so people can ID you with a simple glance. Um, it's said that thumbnails with a face on them do around 80% better than those that don't have one. So don't be camera shy. And it's all right to add a few words to your thumbnail as well. But remember, those things can get pretty tiny, especially on a mobile screen. So make sure you don't use any more than like 30 characters. Your title is pretty important. Even YouTube says that your title can be the factor that keeps a person on your video or scrolling right past it. So for your title, I suggest creating something that both the YouTube algorithm will like and that your viewers can understand. In my video about the position description for a job application, I've actually let my viewers know what they can expect from my video by telling them that it contains actionable tips. And I've made the YouTube algorithm happy by including my keyword, which was position description, right at the start of my title. And right at the beginning of my description, and as the first tag that I included. And I even said my keyword within the first 10 seconds of my video. Your thumbnail and title should work together as a team that builds kind of anticipation for what your video will contain. And doing these two elements well will undoubtedly increase your click-through rate. Tip number seven is to master the hook. The first 15 seconds of your video are absolutely critical if you want to keep people on your video and watching it. If your first 15 seconds don't match your title or thumbnail, or if you fluff around in the first 15 seconds and don't let people know what to expect from the rest of your video, then you're likely to lose their attention straight away. The key to keeping people on your video is to tell them right away what they can expect from your video and how it will benefit them. This is called the value approach. Or you could show an exciting 15 second clip from within your video to demonstrate what people can expect if they keep watching. This is called a sneak peek. Play around with your hook and see what type keeps your audience with you longer. And well, I was gonna leave this video here, but I've got one more thing to say. If you've been on YouTube for a while, you should actually know this tip, but I think it still deserves being said because it is so important. And all the other tips I've mentioned in this video actually hinge on you being able to do this last bonus tip, which is to be consistent. When you are consistent on YouTube, you're giving the platform what it wants, which is more videos to work with. And if your channel ticks that box for YouTube, then you're gonna reap the benefits of that. Now it's your turn. What tip are you going to focus on? Are you going to improve your click-through rate or maybe make longer videos? Well, let me know in the comments below and I look forward to joining your conversations. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content like this straight to your inbox every single week. And with that, well, don't forget to be curious and I shall see you all next week.